Hello some viewers how are you all welcome back to another tutorial so guys today we'll be seeing another loop program so it will be combination of loops and conditional statements i'm extending to programs because these are all uh, important interview questions so let's move on so today guys uh, we'll be seeing a factorial program is one of the most asked questions uh, in one of the in many interviews so let me add an agenda so the, let's make this agenda as generic agenda programs right so let me open this um, this is also done so let me add an agenda for today write a program write a program to find factorial of a given number let us take number directly right so that is now in progress Let me save this agenda. Let me close it. Let me open this uh, new text document where we will write our code. Let me first write the code so that I can explain you each and everything later. Uh, so let me write a factorial program. So fact factorial number, I just write one variable equal to. We'll take input box. Um, we'll just write uh, any message. Enter a number. Enter a number. This. Enter a number to find factorial. So this uh, this make this makes more sense, right? So when you uh, see uh, the message you will understand what is this pop up about. Enter a number to find factorial. So uh, let us move to the main context of the program where loops and loops are involved. So that um, so that uh, what what exactly the loop will will make us help to find the factorial of a given number. So what is factorial? Okay. Uh, let me explain what is factorial. Okay. If I ask you what is the factorial of 3, right? So 3 factorial will be 3 into 2 into 1. That is equal to 6. Right? So when, when we have the same number, what is the factorial of 4? When we have... When... Uh, when the user gives the value dynamically 4, what will the factorial? So, factorial will be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, 6 fours, 4 3 is 12, 12 2 is 24. So, what was the factorial of 5, right? 5 into... Let me just copy it from the beginning, right? Uh, from the above statement. 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 5 plus 20, 23 is 60, 62 is 120. And this can this will go so on. So instead of just calculating like this, we if we write a program, so it will be helpful for us when the user gives any number dynamically, we can get the factorial, right? So let me just uh, remove this. Uh, so that uh, a little bit of understanding of factorial program is done. Let us write, write a loop here. So factorial number will be a dynamic number which is uh, passed by a user during runtime. Mm, so let me take facts, so variable. So this will be helpful in the loop. So let let me let us see the fact variable later. So let me write the loop here for. So iterator, I'll take i, i equal to s 
so i equal to factorial number 2 1 i'll take step minus 1 step minus 1 i'll take so i will decrement decrement the value of the loop step by step if i give a factorial number as 5 it will be 5 4 3 2 1 so on right um so let me write fact here using we we integrated fact in the beginning now we are using the same fact variable to multiply each and every value fact equal to fact into i so we'll uh, we'll write a next and here we'll type we'll print message box the factorial of the entered number is I'll just give it like this ampersand of the entered number no, I'll just not write keys of entered number. I'll specify the number first. Entered number, what was entered number? Of entered number, this. So that a uh, uh, user will understand, user will understand properly. Let me write ampersand here too. Let me give double quotes. is colon ampersand fact okay um first let me save the uh, save as okay and here i'll write uh, factorial.vbs let me save the program then i'll explain it i'll click on save now a uh, factorial number here is a dynamic value taken from dynamic value entered by user during runtime. Fact we gave as some variable will give we gave initial value one because we want to increment the value from one into from one we'll take any value if a user enters five so five four three two one all the time the fact value will be incremented from each and every loop so it will be like this right so. Let me tell you what the fact value will be initially 1. So it will be 1 into i. So what will the value of i, right? Um, the value of i initially, if I give 5, so it will be 5 to 1, right? So it will be 5. 1 into 5, then fact becomes 5. Then it comes 4. Then fact becomes 20, right? Then, sorry, 20. And then so on. Let me save this again. Okay. Let me close it. Let me double click factorial value. Okay. Let me expand this pop up further. Okay. Let me expand this. Enter the number to find factor. Okay. So, what number I can enter? I'll enter, five, I'll enter 3 because we had discussed about 3 and 3 factorial is 3 into 21 it should be 6 right yeah see the factorial of the entered number 3 is 6 I know I didn't give a proper uh, space there okay let me give a proper space and we can continue the program right so okay let me double click it proper space Okay. okay, there we go. We gave proper space and um, I'll save this. I'll close it. I know it is appearing big, so because I have uh, zoomed the screen, let me double click the factorial again. So it is visible here in the screen. Enter the number to find factorial. Let me take uh, let me take value four, right? Let me take value 4, 
let us see what will be the output so it is uh, sorry it is going out of the slide okay uh, the factorial of entered number is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 it is 4 into 3 12 12 2 is 24 let us add some weird value right let us give some weird value so let me give some value like uh, let us take um, 10 suppose, right what will be 10 will be like 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 and into 1 so what will be the value even i don't know let us see the value so it is very huge 362-8800 is very huge value well right, guys i'll um, put the code in the description so that you can guys you guys can play around with this uh, um program and you guys can uh, find a different different ways um to modify the program and uh, use accordingly you can pass any number to search whether the user is giving uh, the input output is giving the proper value or not you can use a calculator to cross check also guys um so guys this is it for the video today if you like the video if if you like the video just click on like button if you are a new viewer click on subscribe thank you guys till then take care have a great day bye bye